anybody can do a remodel, a yes. renovation. Anyone can do it. treat a short-term rental mm -hmm. like a business, which means being attentive to guests, being a host that is there before, during, and after. The little things yeah. like the linens, the towels, the extras, overthinking the entire attention process, the attention to detail. If you don't have that, you're not gonna be successful. You might get people there, but you're not gonna get people coming back totally. and telling people to go there. So I think it's just treating it like a business, because it is. The only way guests are going to see your property is digitally first. So that means your photos have to be just perfect. You have to make sure you're hitting the right angles. You have to showcase what you have to offer. It comes down to time. Yeah. Like why are there so many projects? And we've, we've helped so many homeowners that say, well, I started this a couple years ago and I just never finished it. Mm. Because you get gung-ho about an idea, you start getting excited about it, you spend a few hours a couple weekends in a row, and then you realize, I don't have the time to commit. Because it's an everyday thing. Yes. I mean, it's a, in order to make money in the short-term rental, it can't take a year to do. It's got to it's got to be quick, and so you have to invest a lot of time. And if you don't have that because of a career, because of a job, or you don't have the motivation before you even start, yeah. it's not going to be successful. When you're trying to make a business in the short-term rental market, well, it comes down to the numbers, and all the numbers have to to make sense in order for it to be a profitable business. So you can't go in there and have all these high expectations and, and break the bank and only be able to rent it at a small you know, nightly rate because you're never gonna make your money back. So I think it's very easy to get carried away, um, but that's not a smart business model. So I think when I first started renovating homes, I didn't take a close enough look at how much it would cost to fix a plumbing or how much electrical was gonna cost. And also, look at the location you're in because there are so many, you know, right now with different cities, there's a lot of different uh, restrictions on different types of renovations you can do. So if you jump in and you have big plans and, and cities don't often permit those plans that you have in mind, uh, it really kind of throws a wrench in, in your plans. Before you jump in to any type of renovation. Any type of business. Here's what we always do. We run all the numbers, we're super conservative with it. And then you say, am I okay with the worst case scenario? Mm -hmm. Am I okay with the, the most expensive budget in case everything goes wrong? Am I okay with not renting this out to what the normal average is? Am I okay with the worst case scenario? If you can break even or you can still have some success at the worst case scenario, then do it. Yeah. If, there's, if there's risk in it and it's not your full-time job, that's dangerous. 